so guys this is actually an upcycle project i have the handle the zipper and the body of um, the project what i want to do is a bag that can carry your shoes if you want to go on a trip um something that you can just put your shoes so you see i'm using a sack here as the interfacing instead of interfacing or or uh, instead of an interfacing so um how i got the measurement actually i measured the shoe then i added two inches but the shoe the person that i want to give to this uh, bag is uh, my brother-in-law and his size his shoe size is um around um 44 to 40 for 3 44 in uh, 44 size so i decided to add to make the length of the bag 5 inch uh, 15 inches and the width of the bag 25 inches so as you can see i've already attached the zip on one end i attached the zip to the 15 inches side so and i went ahead and top stitch i've made my notch and um, i am going to arrange it and put the zipper in the middle so the length of the handle is uh, a 15 inches handle and I have already sewn it 15 inches by 3 inches. So when you sew it, you get 1.5 inches. So from the middle, from the zipper, I measured out 2 inches. So I'm just going to go and stitch on the 2 inches to hold the handle in place. So guys, if you are just tuning into the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. So I've already sewn the handle. As you can see, this is how it's going to be like. So what I'm going to go and do, please don't make the mistake I made here because I had to lose it. If you are sewing the handle, you have to sew it on the front side, not on both sides because I had to lose it and sew it again. So this is a bonus point. So after you turn it inside out, this is how it's going to be. So the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to measure two inches from the end make sure it is aligned make sure the zip and the notch you made at the back are aligned then you measure two inches then you fold it in you measure two inches then you fold it in just keep watching and see how i fold it in so as i was saying guys thank you for always tuning to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you i love you please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to share this video and if you are just tuning into the channel for the very first time you are highly welcome to the channel you are welcome to the channel so please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post in new tutorials because i promise you on this channel we have many more amazing tutorials diys upcycling ideas that we have already posted and that we are going to post as well so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post in new tutorials so after you fold in make sure you're folding in all the four edges the next thing to after you fold into the uh, four edges is to go and stitch you make straight stitch from the beginning to the end on the two sides so guys after stitching our work is almost done so i have this fabric it's a two inches fabric uh so i'm just going to sew it and fold it in so that the inside of the bag it's not going to be rough so having said that this is the end of our today's tutorial please guys i hope you try this bag out it is amazing you can skip the sack aspect and put your interfacing and aligning but the my brother-in-law wanted to be putting his football boots inside so he needed something he could just clean sharp sharp every saturday morning and the fabric is a black fabric it's easy to clean you can just put it in your on your bucket and just wash and it will come out clean in no time and you can just use your brush to just clean it like a shoe and it will come out neat 
in no time so this is the end of our today's tutorial guys so if you you know you learned something please give me a thumbs up in the comment section below and if you've not subscribed please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also say something nice in the comment section below if you have any questions or any contributions please do where to keep your opinions in the comment section below thank you guys for watching thank you for staying to this moment see you in our in my next video bye